morning quirky birders it's lynn here and it's time for our very very last design on the quirky bird watercolor advent challenge now today i'm just doing something um fairly traditional and we're just doing this little nativity um scene we're going to be working directly from the brush this morning so i've just got my size six brush here and what you're going to do to begin with is you're going to start with that colour brown. And let's put in the roof of the actual stable. So very, very simply, you're just going to just do the pitch of the roof. You can then add the sides. We'll add the little bit that goes across and then you can pop in the two little braces at the side. So that is the rough shape of your um, stable. Now what you can do is once you've got that rough shape down you can then just take up a little bit more of the brown and maybe even change it to a darker colour. And then you can just then just carry on and just detail that shape a little bit more. So just add in the extra width to the roof. Square off your edges. Come across down the sides like so now our little stable is sat on a mound of grass so we'll just do that next so taking up a nice bit of green and just being very very loose just literally scribble that green just around the base and then you're going to do exactly the same with the colour blue and we'll put some background in. So keep it a nice light blue. And all you're going to do is just put a couple of little bits of colour down. And then wet your brush. And then with a wet brush, just manipulate that colour and just move it around. Just being careful of the brown stable that you've painted you don't want the blue and the brown to mix and just create that little bit of sky in the background okay now the next thing that we need to do is we need to just pop in a manger now I'm still going to work with the colour red. So we're going to keep with those colours that we've worked with all the way through our Advent Challenge. So I'm going to work now with that colour, the crimson red. And what we'll do is we'll just pop a, two little sides in of the manger. Just being careful of the green of the grass as well. So we'll come around that green grass. And then we'll pop the legs in. Okay. And then finally, we just need to pop in our baby Jesus. So what we can do to begin with is we can just take up a little bit of yellow 
And again, just being careful of that red, I'm just going to use the tip of the brush and just create a little bit of hay and straw out of the manger. And then for our baby Jesus, all we need to do is just pop a little halo shape. And that will become a little bit clearer once we've added in the ink details. So that's it for the painting of our nativity scene. So that just now needs to dry and then I'll be back in a short while and we can complete our design with the ink details. OK, so our little nativity scene has now dried and we're going to start to put in some of the ink details. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just use a little bit of a gold Sharpie. And all I'm going to do is pop a little star just on the top of the, um, the actual stable. So I'm just going to start with a little pointed arrow. And then we'll join the points up just to create that little star on the top. We can then colour that in. Let's just tidy those points up a little bit there. There we go. So just a very, very simple little gold star on the top of the, of the stable. And then we can start to add in the ink detail. So I'm just using my 0.5 pen. And what I'm going to do to begin with is we'll come around that star. So we'll just put the black outline around the star that we've just drawn with the gold pen. Like so. And then we can then start to come around our little stable. We can put the outer lines on now. so and then we can add in the detail on this and the little manger so we've got our little legs and we'll just put a little bit of jaggedy scribbles along the hay And then we can then just come around that lovely little halo. And just use your pen. You can always just put then the hint of a, a body in the hay. And then that same scribble that you've just done for the hay, just come right the way round the grass. like so. Now as well as the gold star we can just put some little black stars in the sky so just use your pen and just put those little stars dotted about the sky okay So the final thing that we need to do is just pop our border in for one last time. Come along the 
top. Down the side. And then we can just finish our little design with a signature on the bottom. And there we have it. The final design of your Quirky Bird Watercolour Advent Challenge. I hope you've enjoyed the journey and I hope you've enjoyed the challenge. Thank you so much for painting with me and a very, very Merry Christmas to you all. Goodbye. Thank you. And here's the finished advent. 24 individual festive illustrations. It's been great fun to do.